All right, Demon Prince down, and it is time to move on. Welcome to episode three, everyone watching. Last episode, we took down the Demon in Pain, the Demon from Below, and the Demon Prince. Yes, the three, the three of, the broke three of. We took him down. Three tries, not too shabby, I say. Um, but let's move on. Now, the first thing I'm observing, uh, well, actually, there was nothing in this room that I can see, so uh, this is our only path, but um, I see the soul packet, and it's very, very large, and uh, the larger the soul packet, usually the better the items, so I'm guessing key item, awesome weapon, or large soul packet. Small envoy banner. We need to check that out, because that seems like a key item. It is. Hold before the ring cliff for delivery. Okay, is that kind of like that banner? Where we hold up outside the main castle gate to be taken down to the settlement, undead settlement. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to get transported somewhere. Exciting. Oh, um, yeah, some people out there are probably like, yo, idiot souls. <laughs> Let's go trade in our souls real quick. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I want to level, because I don't know if it's going to be really worth it to level. I don't know what I'm going to do with my souls. TBH. Also, um, I just rewatched the, uh, the first... Or not the first, but the uh, the boss fight that I just recorded, and it seemed like the game audio might have been a tad loud. You could still hear me, but um, I'm still trying to mess with the game audio and everything. Right now, I got game audio at 45 and my commentary voice at 60, because um, I'd rather you be able to hear my voice a bit clearer than the game audio. But uh, um, I'm gonna try and fine tune that a little bit because I don't want it to ruin the experience for anyone. Um, but anyway, let's see what we can do with our souls. Ah, well, is there anything here one. that we need to buy? Actually, no. I'm going to see how much it costs to level up first. Ashen one, if when thou pay thou wishes, then call I am a thousand. All right, we get it, we get it, we get it. Very well, then take Can I even level up? Nope. <laughs> May thou thy peace. Nope. What, what do you got? What do you got? I feel like we don't really need any upgrade materials. Yeah. Um, fuck, like, I could buy like a lot of these. You know what? I'm gonna buy a fuck ton of those. Because that seems like a common theme, and toxic is way worse than poison. Um. Wait, can I do this? Okay. Never mind. Alright, now let's continue our journey. I'm really excited to play this. I actually started recording this last night, and I did the first episode and half the second after I attempted the boss once. You know, I looked at it, it was almost three in the morning. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go to bed and do this tomorrow. And then I came back and killed it in two tries. Really, that first attempt isn't even an attempt. It's just a, like, oh, new boss, because I legit did not expect a boss. It's probably the most I've ever been surprised at a boss fight. Okay, probably new area. At least I would assume. Maybe we're going to use that banner right off the bat.
Yep. What's gonna take us? Or will we just teleport? That's the real question. Oh, that's a tiny ass banner. Who the fuck's gonna see that? Is it imps again? It is. Jesus Christ, those things are everywhere. Promsoft loves their imps. Like, yeah, come with us. Into that stone volcano looking thing. This game is epic. The Ring City? City. This is like a whole. This DLC is gonna be big. This is like an entire area. See if how do you use this? Yup. That's exactly what I thought it was. You see that? That's a boss. Ooh, bonfire. <laughs> Ooh, I can talk to him. They brought thee here, did they not? Yeah, those fucking Dost thou the gods serve imps. Or merely that role affect. Um I serve gods. <laughs> A lie. A wretched lie. How wouldst one such as thee do service to the gods? I can do more than I you. You're just on your fucking knees, bro. Look at me. I know what it is thou desirest, the dark soul. No? Why else wouldst one deign to visit this dung heap? Give rest to thy falsity. I would be an ally to thee. <laughs> if it is the dark soul thou desirest, then seek Filianor's church at the base of the cliff. There will thou the sleeping princess waken. Her slumber is a deceit, a lid covering an overgrown privy, a prop to keep thee from the dark soul of thine desire. <laughs> Worry not, I am a true friend to thee. If thou art yet human, the urge will soon begin to swell. To curse the gods and bring ruin upon this accursed heap of dung. <laughs> now, yearly to Filianor's church at the base of the cliff to rouse the sleeping princess. If thou yet the dark soul desirest. Now, if thou yet... <laughs> okay. You're kind of freaking me out, guy. And I actually think there was, um, more to do back in the other place. Wait, what is this place called? Probably just the Ring City. Mausoleum Lookout. Okay.
What the? Uh... Um. What the fuck was that? I hear this like, oh, like this fucking, like, droning noise, and I'm like, oh, is there like a dragon somewhere? And then the, uh, shields. Oh, shit. They like, they don't, they don't like fuck around, do they? All right, can I, can I, can I, can I do this without you shooting me? I'm trying to observe the game. Okay. Um. So we probably go down there eventually, I guess. How do I get away from this fucker? Oh, those look like uh, rune sentinels. Can't tell if there's gonna be anything back there. This is a very un unique mechanic. Um. I'm gonna get shredded, aren't I? Yeah. This is the part where you just die to get items and die to get items and don't even care. Those look like fucking ruined sentinels though. I'm loving this DLC. If this DLC has at least three more bosses and is at least as big as one of the Dark Souls 2 DLCs, this looks like he'd be in line for the best DLC ever. Because Demon Souls didn't have one. Dark Souls had one, and it was good, but it could be beaten. The things that made that DLC good were nostalgia, like, oh shit, we fight Artorius, oh here's Manus, you know, Primeval, all the shit like that. Ho! Oh. I really want to see what's back there. This game has a lot of fuck you. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Yo, I called it. I called it. Yo, this armor looks fucking sick. It doesn't look quite like it does in DS2, but it looks fucking... It looks way better. Yo, is this confirming, like, the DS2 lore is actually blends in with DS1 and DS3? Because we knew DS1 and DS3 were connected. But DS2 seemed out of the way. But now, I think this confirms it. Don't fucking... Okay, I don't know where to go after that. Yo. 
Yo, yo, yo. Come here, faggot. There's gotta be a way to like shut these guys off. All right, next volley, I'm gonna go. Oh, don't hurt me! Where did that come from? What the fuck is that? Is that a floating dragon head? That's the fucking head. You can you your character gets if you have like the the upgraded version of the dragon headstone. Okay, so I think unless I think I see a doorway there. This is actually let's do this. Okay, I see a doorway. I think we can book it to the doorway from there. There's an item there. I want to make it to the doorway first. Um, because the item's probably not game-changing. Although it might be, because... They fucking put it in an area... There's also an item right around there. I'm gonna grab that. Give me. Yeah, he's spawning a fucking dragon head. Alright. I see a doorway. How many, how, many, how many times does each guy shoot? Oh, I see there's a little dude up there with you doing that. Let's see. One, two, three. They shoot three times. You see the little guy? You see him up there? That's the fucking Dragon Man from Dragon Shrine in DS2. See, now there's no way I can get that item without getting shot. So... Okay, we can make it. We just gotta go. We gotta go when there's no fire, and we can make it. We can make it. I'm also gonna try and shoot that little dude with a bow, or I'll just run. I don't know. <laughs> this is. I'm fucking loving this, man. I'm. I'm really like it's hard, and it. I'm sure once I do this DLC two or three times, I'll be like, oh, you just do this in here, and you're you know you're good. But. This seems like a really fucking dope DLC. <laughs> Um, these arrow shots do a lot of damage. That motherfucker is being a pain in the dick. Those arrows do so much damage. 
now that guy's aggroed. I know there's a spot right down there I could drop on to probably. I'm trying to get that guy to go away. Alright, as soon as the fire goes out. Okay. One. Two. Fuck man, there's a wave perfect. That's that's actually insane. Like I don't see. Uh, get over here, bitch. Give me my item. Okay. City looks really nice too. Um, is this the back door? Sort of. Booking it for that fucking doorway as soon as I get up there. I'm booking it. I don't even care. Okay, so he's really easy to kill. I think I might just fucking, like, do my Super Saiyan Lightning Blast on him and break his face. So that's the key. We will go up the ladder. And then run and kill him. That's the key. Because my shield don't do jack shit against the, those guys' arrows. I can take on, like, one volley before I'm fucked. Uh, 
Ah. Jesus Christ, people. Ooh, a shiny. Here we go. Let's see if I can find cover first. Because I don't have long. city. We are kindred, but like two eyes which gaze upon the other. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. One was a wayfaring knight on an endless forbidden search. Only the abyss granted closure, if not reunion with his beloved. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Many of us are by the fire, forsaken. I speak of thine kind and mine. Behold this city. We are kindred, but like two eyed fear not, and let the. I wonder if he's talking about Solaire. Also, Silver Knights. What the fuck? Alright, dude. All right. Jesus Christ, these fuckers are crazy. Okay. Psychotic maniac. You, you got lightning? What the hell? Wow, there's gonna be a lot of that shit in this area. I can tell already. Yeah, I'll go back and kill that other guy later. <laughs> I don't want to spend like 16 fucking years. How did I know? How did I know? How did I know? How do you guys have a light? You guys seem like basic bitches. Ooh, bonfire! Well, this looks like a good stopping point. Also, that's going to be a Miyazaki-style shortcut. I'm just guessing. But, a uh, good stopping point. We have reached the ringed inner wall. Um, but yeah, good stopping point. Um, really exciting so far. Uh, that area is a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> be forewarned, it is a pain in the ass. Um, killing that guy probably gives you something decent. Um, but I'm not sure, and I don't really want to fuck around with it just yet. Maybe there's a way you can turn that guy off or turn the mechanic off. Um, there's also a couple soul packs we missed. But, uh, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed, and we hope you come back for the fourth episode now of, uh, Dark Souls 3 DLC, Ring City. Um, yeah, really enjoying it. So I hope you guys come back, and we will see you in the next one.